You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. A oh, good evening. We are tracking a thunderstorm moving through the Anderson area. This is bringing a lot of cloud to ground lightning along with some heavy rain and some hail about half inch in size. So if you are outside, you will want to head indoors or stay indoors for a little bit as the system as the cell moves through. It is inching its way to the northeast, but it is inching at that, and that is why we have a flood advisory now in effect for the Anderson Cottonwood area through 10 p.m. this evening because of the rain that has fallen with this cell just not moving very much. So be careful on those roadways. Turn around. Don't drown. If you see water, don't drive through it. We will see that chance for some thunderstorms to continue into this evening. Even by 8 o'clock, it's going to be hit and miss. So this may not be exactly verbatim where things set up. Just be aware tonight as you're heading out and about for Saturday evening activities that you may hear some rumbles of thunder and see some heavy rain. Now this activity does start to break down late tonight into tomorrow morning, and we even clear out by tomorrow afternoon a few isolated showers in the mountains, but tomorrow is a great day to be outside and enjoy some of the sunshine and we'll continue to see some of that as we head into early Monday morning. Now with this system that is moving through, the rain in the valley will turn to snow in the mountains. Snow levels hovering right around 3,500 feet. Winter storm warning for elevations above 4,000 feet in the northern Sierra, and we do have a couple winter weather advisories in the coastal mountains due to the snow that will or is falling. Now we also have temperatures bottoming out in the mid 40s throughout parts of the valley, in some cases the upper 30s, depending on how much cloud cover there will be. So it's going to be hit and miss for that this evening, but highs tomorrow sitting in the mid 60s for the most part, as we have more access to some sunshine. But as we head into the beginning of the work week, a weak ridge of high pressure will build in. So this is being amplified a little more compared to what we thought yesterday. So that'll give us better access to some sunshine and drier weather Monday into Tuesday. But here's what we're looking at when it comes to our seven day forecast. Dry Monday and Tuesday temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, but also a chance for some rain heading into the end of the work week, middle to end of the work week next week. A lot of uncertainty though regarding that situation. So we'll have more as we get closer. We'll be right back. 